Hello. Um, this is just another life update kind of a video. Um, I'm done with finals, so I have my winter break now. Which I guess gives me more time to make videos, even though I really don't have a lot to talk about. Um, but you know, a lot of shit just happened within like the past week. And I'm really like really going through a fit of unhappiness right now. Um, especially today had a bit of a manic moment. Um, so I'll tell you what happened and then I'll tell you about, I've kind of rearranged my room a bit today. Um, yeah. So about maybe a week or two ago, um, my great aunt died and my dad left for the funeral and that morning two of our dogs had gotten in a fight over food which is really stupid um, but it was so early in the morning because the funeral was far away that I just fell back asleep because by the time I woke up and got out to the kitchen they were already done fighting and blah blah blah. Well he had already left and I go out to the kitchen and Kona, the small, I don't, I'm sure you've seen her in little other videos, she's the smallest one, I call her Squatty just because her legs are like, eh. um, she's shorter than the rest of the dachshunds, but, uh, her eye was all fucked up, and I don't know if it, she had, like, ran outside and got something stuck in it, or it was because they fought, well, I had to take her to the vet, and then, turns out she had, like, a little ulcer in her eye, so then I had to give her medication, keep a cone on her so she wouldn't rub it, and all this crap. Now, that was a while ago. Yesterday, we had a big-ass fucking windstorm. Um, our power went out twice. Hit the area pretty hard. It's really scary to drive um, when the street lights go out because even though you're supposed to do the four-way stop, people don't really want to fucking do that. Um, yeah, so I had just been all day uh, shopping with my aunt, which is something I never get to do, and my dad was home all day. Well, I come home and go in the backyard, and he had left the dogs outside, and I'm really pissed off about this point. And I looked outside, and one of our trees was uprooted and had fallen on top of a fence. Not through it, like completely on top of a fence. Um, I don't even know if you'll be able to see the picture. You probably won't. Um... It's really shitty trying to show it to you guys oh, through phone. But, like, I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, so that's the stupid tree that fell over. Like, literally, that's the trunk. And the rest of it fell on top of a fence. And the fence where the top of the tree was at um, had broken and one of our dogs had gotten through the other side. Well, she couldn't figure out how to get back through to our yard. And I pulled her out, and she ended up limping. So I'm like, fuck, you know, there's something wrong. So, of course, I this happens right as I get home. Like, literally, walk through the front door, walk to the kitchen, put my shit down, saw the dogs outside, opened the door, saw this, and ran out. Um, took her to the bed. Her, I thought that her foot was broken. Um, or maybe, like, because she was, like, really whimpering and... Um, didn't want to put any pressure on it. I mean, she would put some, but not a whole lot. And so the doctor was, like, messing with her feet. Uh, and we had to take x-rays. Well, thankfully, her entire foot wasn't broken, but she had a, what did he call it, a spinal fracture. So it's not, like, straight across. It's, like, a jar in her pinky toe. So, yeah, so her pinky toe is broken. <laughs> so she's in a splint. And I have to put, like, this little waterproof booty thing on her, which is actually not a booty at all. It's kind of, um, it's basically a cut-up IV bag uh, to make, keep water from getting on the cast. Because, of course, if it gets wet, then it will, like, rot and mold and there will be skin infection and all that nasty stuff. And I don't want to deal with that, especially since I've worked there before. And I know what that's like to see that, and it's disgusting. So, I, like, this happened yesterday. I'm pissed off. I had just gotten home, have to deal with this shit. Like, 
I'm basically I'm having these huge beefs with my dad because he's here all day and he can't take a second to look outside to notice this shit happening. It's really stupid because our living room or our kitchen is like attached to outside. So like the slider door in the kitchen goes straight outside. So all I had to do, like when he let the dogs out, was to look up and see that a tree had fallen over. That's all it took, but he couldn't even fucking do that. So anyways, all this shit's happening and there's this guy who had been living with us who my dad wants to help out. You know, he can't really help himself, so it's really kind of fucking stupid. And he, you guys, I'm really mean, but I do not like, I, like, I try to give people the benefit of the doubt, but I really, there's some people I just can't fucking stand. And, um, he doesn't have a job. He doesn't have a family. He's sick. He's like 55 years old. He's... <sighs> He disgusts me. He's really disgusting. He's really not clean or hygienic at all. Um, and basically, he's getting kicked out of this guy's house, and he will be living on the street if he doesn't find a new place to live. Well, he'd already been living with us. I couldn't fucking take it. Then he left, and now he wants to come back. So I just got this huge beef with my dad about taking back in because then nothing will fucking get done here and I, you know, I have this entire month off to, yes, a month, um, to like clean up because, you know, shit really hasn't gotten done since we moved in here in August and it's just like driving me insane. Um, yeah, so like I had after, because we got in a huge argument and I was yelling at him and, um, he left I know it sounds like we're married, but we're not. It's just, I, I, it's really frustrating because I know that I'm still his kid, but I'm not a kid. Does that make sense? Like, I'm 21 years old. My opinion does fucking matter as much as people don't believe it does. Um, so I hate being treated like, oh, she's my daughter, she doesn't know what the fuck she's talking about when I actually do, and I can't stand that about my family, because apparently they think I don't have a mind of my own. <sighs> I digress. So, yeah, I had a really bad, uh, a couple of, well, how long has it been now? Maybe an hour ago, I had a really bad meltdown, and I was crying and screaming, and just, I really, like, went through a really quick like drop into depression that I don't want to go there again. Um, Cause it's just like one thing on top of another, on top of another, on top of another, that people don't get that I can't take that much by myself and be the only one responsible for it. And it just drives me insane. So I had my meltdown. It was pretty nasty. Um, then did a leg workout, took a shower, which is why I look why I do. I know, so pretty. <laughs> and, um, now I'm here. And instead of breaking things, I really wanted to break some glass. Oh, that was another thing that happened. So, this is what happened again last night after I had brought Maddie home with her broken toe um, I gave her pain meds at like nine something so she could sleep through the night without be it being ouchy. Well when I gave her the pain meds and she was sleeping with me um, the thing is if they don't feel like their foot's hurting then they get more energized and feel like they can use their foot and you know they, they're not impeded in any way. So I wake up to her kind of being weird and stuff in my bed at like 2 o'clock this morning because she wouldn't go potty yesterday. She didn't really want to eat. She wouldn't drink water. She didn't want to go potty. So I take her out. 2 o'clock in the morning she finally goes and then I bring her back in here and I had a candle sitting right here um, just in case the power went out again in the middle of the night. Well, I accidentally knocked it over and glass shattered everywhere, which was nice. So then 
this is at 2 o'clock in the morning. I have to vacuum up the fucking floor at 2 o'clock in the morning. And then this morning, um, because, I mean, some of the shards were so small. And I ended up cutting my hand. And then, um, the vacuum I had been using got, like, the big chunks, but it didn't get, like, the itty-bitty chunks because the hose doesn't really work. So then this morning I had to grab the other hose. Well, cut my foot. <laughs> and then I got in a fight with my dad. So, you know, today was just like, <gasps> um, and I, like, I just need to start changing. I, I don't know why I have to do this, but, you know, like, it's like spring cleaning, but it's winter cleaning and just wanting to reorganize shit because everything has been so chaotic here and just disgusting. <sighs> but anyways, so, I had my meltdown and I thought, okay. I need to look at this differently. Because all I really do, truly, at my heart, you guys, I am a bit of a pessimist. Um, and I don't know if that's like a family thing, that we have a bit of depression, or if that's a, like... Since I was little, I've always been like the glass half empty sort of a person. I, tr I would try to be glass half full, but then I would go back to the glass half empty, you know? Like, I would always have this battle with myself. It's just two stupid little angels on my shoulder, duking it out. Swashbuckling. Um, so I thought to myself, I'm like, okay, you know what? There's a better way to think about this. Because I was just ranting to my dad about all the things that we need and don't have. Um, I guess we don't need them, but it would be, I mean, they're just common little stupid things that we, that shouldn't be so hard to get. Um, but work hasn't been so nice to him. So, I mean, like, we don't have curtains. I mean, we've been here for three months. We don't have curtains. We don't have shelving. We don't have, I mean, sort of a thing. So, yeah, I was ranting to him about all that crap. Well, I thought to myself, I'm like, I need to make a list of the things in my life that I do have that I'm thankful for. Um... Because I just need to stop bitching about the things I don't have. Um, so I made a list. And it's my thankful for list. It's really short right now. I'm sure, like, I just wanted to write one sheet because I would elaborate on it and blah, blah, blah. But I'll show you where it's at. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Also, I rearranged my area to be a little bit Christmassy. We have no Christmas anything Yule stuff out at all haven't had, we haven't decorated anything for Christmas in like three years. Um, but I'll show you what's over here. So that's my cinnamon candle. <laughs> and I rearranged all this crap. Um, this little snowflakes my aunt got me. Um, some little Christmas gifts that will be going out, except for the one right there on the far to me, it would be my far right, but it would be your... That one. Um, and then my little wooden Christmas tree that my aunt also bought me. Then I put the rest of the... I cleaned my desk up. Ugh. And then, I don't know if you can see it. No, you can't see them. See those light, light things up there? Um, those are the rest of the snowflakes. And then up above my TV on that hook. That got really fuzzy really quick. Um, this guy is like a kind of wreathy thing with frills attached to it. I really like that. I thought that was cute. Um, yeah, but then the rest of everything else is kind of the same. Um, but anyways... Uh, da, 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 da. how do I want to do this? I don't even know. Um. Um. So I was just going to read off the list. And, um. Go from there. So, this is one I don't really think about all that often. But it makes sense that I should. Um is just being alive and there are moments where 
I think a lot of us have a moment. And maybe I just wrote that down because I watched It's a Wonderful Life like three times last night. Um, but I don't think about that really. I don't really think about the gift of living as much as the wonder of, you know, what it's like to die. I don't know. Um, not like I'm like, oh, death. But it's just something I don't think about. I don't think about, you know, every day is a gift or every breath is a gift. I don't, I don't have that mentality. So, um, it's just interesting to think about, I guess. Um, but that's true. I mean, I do not have anything wrong with my lungs. I don't think I have anything wrong with my lungs. Um, <laughs> I have to think about that for a sec. I just get out of breath really easily, but that's because I'm overweight. Um, the other one I wrote was to be under a roof with a warm bed. I thought about this yesterday because, I mean, I go to school in the in the city and there are so many homeless people. It's remarkable. And I was just thinking about having, them having to deal with the wind yesterday and how awful that would have been. Um, yeah, man, and just being, sleeping on, you know, cold concrete is just, a, it's really sad. There need to be more homeless shelters instead of more Starbucks or more Macy's or more Nordstrom's. Like, I don't, it's so stupid to me. I just, you know, you, you go to, like, parts of Portland where there's the mission, you see people just lining up to just try to get a bed inside during the night. It's kind of crazy. Um, I said for being able to eat and drink, and I don't mean alcohol, I'm just talking about in general, I mean to have a fridge with food, to have a pantry with food, to have the, having the abilities and capabilities of being able to make food is something I take for granted all the time. Um, yeah, I've never been in a situation where that's been out of reach. Um, yeah, so that's another thing that's really sad to think about people who don't have that. I really take a lot of shit for granted, you guys. I really do, and that's not good. Um, this is one that I, I, it's kind of amazing if you think about it. Um, just having the capability of taking a shower or bathing, like, about people that can't or don't or whatever. Um, oh God, that's just awful. I mean, that's one of my like. I love taking showers. I, I just I take showers all the time. So it's kind of one of those things where it's like, just to imagine that I couldn't. I mean, I'm really lucky that I can. Um, I hope that I have insurance. Um, in case shit happens or if I get hurt or whatever, because that's happened multiple times already. Um, and have ways to figure out what's wrong and then to think about people who can't, they don't have the means to figure out what's wrong and they have to live with whatever's wrong with them for the rest of their life. It's no bueno. Um, then the next one I wrote was my dad. Now, I get in beefs with my I keep using the word beef, sorry. Like, that's just been my term of, like, the month, beef, to get in a beef with somebody. We get in arguments and fights and quarrels and miscommunication all the time. Um, you know, he's not entirely... flawless with situations that have happened um, in his life um, and I hate people playing the victim thingy too that really bothers me and I didn't really recognize that he was pulling that card too until recently and that just pisses me off um, but you know his heart's in the right place. He might be blind to a lot of things and that's an issue that I have with him. Um, this kind of 
don't think it's intentional, but this ignorance that he has that kind of irritates me. Um, but you know, his heart's in the right place, and he tries as hard as he can. He, I might have an issue with him acting like a teenager now, um, more so than he ever has, but... Um, you know, I do love him, and I'm, I'm, <sighs> I need to be, uh, I need to stop giving him so much crap. I do. Um, yeah. I just do. It's, I'm, it's hard, I can't really, extrapolate on what I'm trying to say. It's, I think you guys can kind of understand what I'm saying. Um, <laughs> I wrote the littles and the biggie. Um, the littles meaning our little dogs and the biggie meaning Scarlet. It would be the biggies, but Wyatt is no longer with us. Um, I hope you guys noticed that I put little snowflakes behind his area just because he liked the snow a lot. Um, This Christmas is going to suck without him now that I'm thinking about it. Um, but, you know, I've always been an animal person since I was, like, itty-bitty, teeny-weeny little child. Um, and I think that animals have a way of, I mean, personally, I think animals have souls. And I know a lot of people will disagree, um, but I do. They have feelings, they have, they have personality, they have stories, and the only issue is we just can't really talk to them. Um, but, I mean, we can communicate with them in unspoken ways. And I think you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, but my god, they've, my dad hated dogs forever, um, until we got Wyatt, and, um, that was when I was nine years old. So, um, you know, after Wyatt, he became more open to having dogs run and stuff. And they really are, if you're, I mean, when I'm upset, I do, like what happened today? I was really upset and I wanted to be left alone and they are very much, oh, I love you, I love you, I love you, and got in my face and I snapped and yelled at them. Um, but they kept coming back, and this unconditional love thing made me kind of, um, well, this happens time and time again, but I felt really bad afterwards, and I apologized. You guys, <laughs> I know this sounds kind of bizarre, um, but it's true. I, f I feel really bad, and then it makes me question, you know, why I did that, and that they don't deserve it, and da da because they're not doing anything wrong. They're just loving on me. Um... But yeah, man, they're like the comfort when you don't have people around. Like, they don't really care what's going on with you. They don't care about, you know, what you look like or what you're wearing or whatever. They just love you for you. Um, yeah. Then I said, Scarlet's barking outside. Um, and I said... gonna yell at her now. Um, then I said Adam and Teresa, they, um, have been, they've known me since I was one. So that was 20 years ago. And, um, you know, recently they've been, and I feel bad because there was a giant chunk of my life, and this is with my grandparents too, that I didn't really get to know people for who they are as really myself, you know, not being under the thumb of my mom. So, um, it's nice to get to know people who they are with them being themselves and me being myself and how that kind of organic friendship, relationship, whatever the hell it is. Um, yeah, family, friends, and they've been really helpful and really sweet and really open to whenever I'm like, having mental breakdowns or emotional breakdowns or spiritual breakdowns and I just need a place to go because I don't really have that kind of uh, haven here. Um, 
they've been really awesome with with letting me speak my mind and my heart and just letting me roll on the floor and cry. <laughs> like, yeah. Um, I said, uh, my aunt and her family. Now, my aunt, Terry, um, has really been... I mean, she's always been sweet. I don't remember a time I've ever her being mean in my life. I really don't. Um, but because my, I mean, her, her life and her family, including my mom and her brothers and, you know, my uncles and whatever, they had a pretty fucked up childhood, um, growing up. The way they, they were raised was just god awful. Um, so that explains a lot, but, um, not saying that's justified, but it explains a lot. But my aunt has always been remarkably sweet and caring, and I mean, out of it astounds me because with all the shit that she's gone through, she's able to stay as optimistic as she has, um, and that's astounding to me because I have not gone through the amount of shit that she has, and I am like super pessimistic. So. Um, you know, that makes me second guess why the hell I'm acting the way I am, you know. Um, but, you know, recently she's been, and I feel really bad because I come over to her house and I end up staying hours and hours past her bedtime. She has to wake up early with her kids, um, just talking about the shit of our lives. And, um, but it's nice because she's willing to listen and she gives you know, open-hearted answers and advice, um, that I really do need to hear. Um, and she'll point out, and I mean, she's honest, and she'll point out where I have my head shoved up my ass, and, um, you know, but she's really, I mean, it's a her optimism is what's so astounding to me, and that she doesn't, she really doesn't take stuff for granted, because she's been through the ringer a few times herself. Um, she really, she really doesn't take stuff for granted, and it's insane, because, you know, I've known people who do have a lot of crap, and they do, you know, they're obsessed with money, and they have this kind of two-faced facade about them, and she... I mean, they have a lot of money and they have a lot of nice things, but she's not like that at all. And it's really nice because she's so sweet and nice to everyone. Um, and so are her kids. And so is my uncle, you know, like, it's just, it's, it's just nice to have this kind of optimistic family living amongst a sea of shit. <laughs> um, then, um... My grandma and grandpa up north, um, they just keep it real, they keep it honest, and they're there to listen. Um, it's kind of a weird relationship that I have with them because it's so fresh and new, um, but I'm just happy that I've had the opportunity now to, again, like I said, not be under the thumb of a parent and get to know them as myself and as themselves and just kind of create this organic bond that we never had before. Um, deal with weird old hicks. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, then I said for my closest friends, uh, Kelsey's the first one I wrote down on that list. Um, my god. I'm sorry you guys, this is gonna be like a f an hour long video. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stop this one and I'm going to put the friends one as another video. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah.